week since last night. One of my close friends last night. Well, not last night, yesterday. We lost who? One of my close friends yesterday. Cal Too Hot. They think they shoot every day, they shoot like once a month. They don't shoot every day. They don't shoot every day. How long you lived in Oblock for? Uh, I moved on the block in 2005. Oh man, that's scary. Holy shit, bro. Man, get out of here. Hey, That's the real go, police, bro. too. We just gotta go. He not playing. Damn, I can I tasted the lab like it was weird. Let's go. These exotic boys, smoking exotic ops. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic glocks. Tied to pull up real fast with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. Moolah gang, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know when this trend started. You know what I'm saying? I, rest in peace, Zach TV. I'm going to just put it like that, you feel me? Because Shorty definitely the one who started doing this. But I, the white boy then went to the O, Shorty. He having an interview in the O. You know what I'm saying? Skate. Skate, skate, skate. We finna get right into it, man. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, Shorty. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Follow your boy on the gram if you ain't already. We trying to hit 200K on the gram. You hear me? Skate. And, um... I'm high as hell. Um, oh, if you want some promo, man, you want Instagram promo, you want YouTube promo, or anything else, you know what I'm saying, any type of promo at all, go to MacMoolah.net right now. Right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Book your promo, skate. Now they make it seem like we just so bad, so dangerous. They make it seem like we monsters. We just like normal people. We just be chilling, really. Look, fun with that laughing around plan. The segregated White City Amusement Park was built in 1905 on 14 acres of land in the heart of what is in modern days called O Block. O -block. Really? This park was famous for its attractions, including a tower that could be seen for 14 miles in all directions. After its demolition no, in 1946, the area would once again become famous, this time for much more sinister reasons. In 1955, America's first cooperatively owned African American housing development opened on the land where the once segregated White City Amusement Park stood. The low income apartment complex called Parkway Gardens would house more than 20,000 residents, and throughout nearly five decades, the most noteworthy thing about the area was that Michelle Obama once resided there. That is until the 2000s. I didn't know that Michelle Obama used to live in Oblot. That's where she's from. Uh, but I didn't know that about the. Uh, I didn't know like the history of Chicago about it though. I didn't know it was like the first one. I know when gang violence between the gangster disciples and the black disciples reached a tipping. That is until the 2000s when gang violence between the gangster disciples and the black disciples reached a tipping point. These rival sets hate each other and only live one block away. Parkway Gardens, formerly known as Wick City, gets its current City, name yeah. Old Block from deceased BD member Odie Perry, who was shot and killed at only 20 years of age by 17-year-old GD member KI. I don't know if that one is true. I don't know. I ain't shit. I don't know who did who who I don't know who supposed to had uh did that to OD, you know what I'm saying? But he got his facts right. He used to be called Wick City first. Uh then it became O Block because of OD. Uh and I heard that they said KI did it, but I don't know. And as of 2022, there have been 36 confirmed murders between O Block and STL EBT alone. 36. But while many people speak and speculate on the situation, very few people venture into Parkway Gardens themselves to speak to the residents and find out what life is really like Damn, inside O Block. I'm with some niggas that go pull up, let it spray. With yeah. some niggas that go hop up out that car, broad day. Well, yeah. You better run, cut them short and hop in now with Drake. Bro, 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 bro. You guys, so I'm back in O Block. I'm here to do some serious interviews about what right life there, is like right here in the community of Parkway it Gardens. A, uh, I think it used to be a Baba's right there. Or some. It used to be some. It used to be hella restaurants right across the street. It used to be a uh, McDonald's on the other side. They closed, they shut that down. It used to be a, 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 a Walgreens on the other side of the street where Old Block at, right at the end of the block. It used to be a, a, a Walgreens. I think they shut that down too the last time I was in the wreck. So we're meeting up with a young up and coming rapper from Old Block named Gina. I ain't gonna lie, it's really crazy though to me that y'all look at this like it's some crazy because I've been riding past it. Like I've been, I've done so much stuff like over here, like you know what I'm saying? Like just being around, just growing up in Chicago, like. I knew some niggas that went to Dulles when I was a young, when I was young, you know what I'm saying? I used to be over there. So it's crazy that the world just look at Oblock like a museum attraction now. It's crazy, shorty. We're going to sit down with him and ask him some questions about what life was like growing up right here at Parkway Gardens. What's up, bro? How you doing? They ain't recording. So security guards just always are going crazy out here. 
So what you been up to? I've been chilling, man. I told you about some other stuff I've been having going on, but. In the last episode, I pulled up to O-Block to do some sus oh, rapping when g -Nuck, a rapper from the area, said this. It just lost one of my close friends last night. Well, not last night, yesterday. We lost who? One of my close friends yesterday. Cal Too Hot. Apparently, the night before we came to O-Block, resident and up-and-coming hip-hop artist peace, Too Hot was shot and Too murdered hot. only seven blocks away from Parkway Gardens. That right now, up-and-coming hip-hop artist Too Hot was shot. Is that Cap, little brother? He looks just like... He just looks like Cap. Shot and murdered only seven blocks away from Parkway Gardens. Right now we're in a staircase in the middle of O Block. Who am I here with? Away. Hold on, we finna get right back into the video, but before we do, Shorty, I gotta tell y'all about my membership. MoolahMembership.com is a website that I started almost two years ago, and since then I have helped literally over 10,000 people make at least $20,000 profit before they left my membership. I know a lot of people gonna say it's cap, but y'all see the proof, man. I do this every day like clockwork. When you sign up for my membership, not only is you gonna get access to all the videos in my membership, where it's teaching you exactly what to do, how to do it when it comes to stocks, crypto, social media monetization, financial literacy, credit. I'm literally going to walk you step by step to make yourself a rich entrepreneur. And on top of that, I have a team of more than 30 people that will work around the clock 24 seven and call out stock and crypto plays so you know what to buy, when to buy, and you make money with me making the same investments that I make at the same time that I'm making. All this for $50 short. I wanna see y'all win, man. So listen, for that low, low, low price, click the first link in my description right now, moolahmembership.com, come sign up before it's too late because we are running out of spots. Spots are very, very limited. I wanna keep this membership exclusive so you might want to hurry up and sign up and let's get back into the video no what's wrong like 2004 my whole life you got 18 years in this hoe for sure <laughs> what's it like growing up in o-block cool ass He's white like boy though he be coming back and stuff cool ass white boy y'all see ain't nothing happened to him right ain't nobody press him you know what i'm saying like o-block cool bro y'all be thinking people from chicago just crazy monsters and you gotta be like this all day to be a, you ain't no gangster or you like, you know what I'm saying? Or you a bitch or something. Like, that ain't how it is. But everybody in Chicago really cool as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? On both sides. Regardless, I don't get no fuck about none of that other stuff. GDs, BDs, Stones, up north, out west. It's cool niggas in the rack, bro. Some of the coolest and most smooth player niggas you ever gonna meet gonna be from Chicago. Like me. Skate. But it just be, you know, see, when they get that time, they get that like, time. You just gotta either star, survive, or don't survive. On front it's of fast life out here, isn't it? They know. What's it like seeing all the talent come through the area? 2004, you said you've been here, so yeah. you've seen everything. Whole block talented, like everybody, like know how to do something. Some good basketball. With they, like, like, this ain't the end for everybody, for sure. I swear, everybody I know knows something that can sub. make them a career. And they got their water over there. Be some engineers, beat makers, all type of shit. Don't even you. know. A lot of artists out here. Tell for you. Sure. What are some of the pros that living in O Block? Shit. I live in a farm area. There's not. Shit. There's no malls, you know what I'm saying? Uh, see, nah, you always gonna have something to do right here. You, it don't matter <laughs> what it is, you gonna have something to do, because it's like, it's a lot of motherfuckers over here. Hell, you gonna be yeah. tweaking, it's gonna be a lot fun, of people. Gang. Like, fun I could only like imagine like living arcade though. or something. You got all your friends, everyone's rapping, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no friends, we our family over here. We our brothers. So do you feel like people in O Block like, stay clicked up and stay like loyal to one another? For the most For sure. part. That's, that's what we is. I will say that, for the most that. part. You feel like gun violence isn't a problem here in O Block? For me being around, like, I don't think it's really no problem. It's just like people like they make sh they make stuff bigger than what it oh, is. Oh God! They want us to be monsters. You right? They say it's the most dangerous block in America. No one will even step foot in this area if you're not from here. You right here? Yeah. You feel like there's a big misconception about violence in Oblock? For sure. Like it's just the outside looking in. It be the people that have never been over here. Right. Saying how dangerous it is. It's On really July especially 4th. when you a kid. It's super cool. Like that's why I'm saying when you a kid, you would go over there. You know what I'm saying? When you young, when you ain't like right before middle school, you a young elementary school kid, you go over to O Block, kids just start playing with you. You know what I'm saying? You it's like a little, it's like a little area over there you can play. You know what I'm saying? It's like a big ass area, like a lot of like, you know what I'm saying? So like they're just like it's not like how y'all think it is. You're not just finna walk up and everybody just outside with AKs, they see you, they don't know you, pew, pew, pew. you just Smoke like it ain't like that, y'all. We ain't in goddamn Afghanistan. It's two months Damn. after filming this episode, G Nuck was shot right outside of Damn, for real, he good? four other people, including the rapper Boss Top. Thankfully, Boss Top? Oh, all that's five the same people survived the incident. Same time, Boss Most Top. of which okay, cool. still reside inside O Block. Cool, 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 cool. I thought it would be a good idea to bring a to smoke with them, but I found out immediately that. Is 
Ravens are not the desired blunt inside of O-Block. No. I brought a, uh, a your face, too. Nah, yeah, I don't smoke. Oh, uh, you don't Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. We cool. Yeah. I brought the <laughs> I got a, I got a blunt with somebody in, in O-Block. Look with them. Hey, Brandy, y'all gonna wanna talk to him when y'all see who he is for real. Google him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come nah, correct. I don't smoke no. Damn. So y'all can't my boy real quick. He smoked your own boy right quick. <laughs> Ellie right now. I didn't know that Dutchess were like that. They're frowned upon so hard in Obot. <laughs> Dutch, wanna f*** Dutch with me? You don't f*** the Dutchess either? Nah. Damn. I didn't realize I was coming so incorrect. We put three point Oh, oh, nobody, I ain't gonna lie. No, no, hey, big homie, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't even Oblock, shorty. It's the whole community of black people. So you welcome to the cookout, white boy. So you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to get put up on game. It's okay. You feel me? So, but you, you know what I'm saying? We adopted you, gang. So we just putting you down. You feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, you know, you got to put that, you got to, it got to be big, 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 big. Especially since they made throwing legal in the rack. Is you crazy, sir? Ain't nobody putting on my fucking in this little ass Dutch. Crazy man. You better get you Basically something big. Well, hell nah. well, I'm going to just smoke it. Nah, we don't need right here. You got to, you got to. <laughs> Can't even see the Dutch in He's the in area. <laughs> what about you smoke? Hell no. Nah. God damn. Woods only? Woods yeah. only. Some of the ass lied though. Y'all try to y'all try to act boozy on this camera. I'ma get that. Y'all I know what's going on. <laughs> boy, I know what's going on, boy. Y'all try to act boozy on this camera. Let the motherfucker wanna turn the camera off. Photo grave. I'm hitting I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I'm going to tap it, tag it, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> You feel me? I'm going to give me a little mm, mm, mm. Well, How long have you lived in Oblock for? Ten years. What's it like growing up here? It's a lot, see what I'm saying? I can't explain that, but it's a lot. What's the best part about it? Shit, everybody know each other. Folks in the back. Worst part? Oh, he yeah, off no part, you know what I'm saying? Folks in Everything the back good. is off. Yeah, what do you think is the future of Oblock? What's going to what's gonna happen to the community the next five years? They probably made this my what is it like growing up here? It's really good when you when you get like you, people know you, but when they don't know you, they step across you. But when they got you, they got you. But I've been here since you know my whole life, so That's they crazy. made a bond with me. I, I ain't gonna lie, Oblock big. It's a lot me. of people. It's like there, decent, like. but it's like like you just gotta like watch out, you know. You gonna be caught slipping, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. I ain't gonna lie. You guys feel like all the violence overhyped in the media? Yeah, yeah. overhyped for yeah. But having all that violence. It's fun to say it to him. Nearly as bad as it is in real life. They think they shoot every day, they shoot like once a month. I don't shoot every day. I don't shoot every day. I mean, for you guys, you guys are all in your in your teenage years, right? Is it, is it scary and shit when shit starts firing? Like having to duck and stuff, or you're just used to it? You get used to that shit. Yesterday, we was playing basketball. We continue playing. Another day, nothing nothing new? Yeah, nothing new. So you all be in the middle of hooping, and then you hear shots, just pause for a second and keep playing? Right now, who am I here with? Mana IQ, man. Voice Mana. Oh, you're up and coming rapper, right? For sure. Yeah, Mana. Like. It's been decent for real. I've been on some. Y'all you know, tap into Mana, man. Feel me? Goddamn. Y'all tap. All these people only tap into these. Come on, J. And really building my own shit. On some on different shit, though. Like on a whole nother level. With this How long you lived in Oblock for? Uh, I moved on the block. In 2005, I, I was one years old when I moved, so and I'm finna be 18, so yes. What was it like growing up in Oblock? I like, I liked it. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like you guys have a really strong community, right? Yeah, we, yeah, our community, we tight in our community. Everybody outside hanging out? Yeah, yeah. That's right there, like a block about, yeah. yeah, our community, we tight in our community. That's the little play, the little play, the little playground area. That's tight. not really a playground, Hang but it's like a little play. That's why I said play area. You feel me? But you know, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. You look right there, it's like a block party going on pretty much, Sagan. It's some of the best parts of growing up in Oblock. Everything, every part is the best to me, if you ask me. The events, courts, the church, females. <laughs> that is females. It's giveaways, <laughs> big giveaways, you know, past, it's Pastor Curry Brooks. He can't get away. Big bro, no, Shout out like Pastor Brooks. Pastor Brooks do his thug deezy on front of gray. Pastor Brooks do his thug deezy. Pastor Brooks is the church right, right next next door like literally like across the alley not even across the street across the alley you feel me like o block right here it's a gate oh uh church right on the other side you know what i'm saying and he really be helping a lot of the youth like you know what i'm saying he the only the only pastor in the world that i see that really doing hands-on with the community really you know what i'm saying like for real for real you feel me uh and i i, I start going to that church but i was like nine Eight or nine or something with my mom. Uh, she used to drag me every Sunday in that month too. But yeah, that's that's the main reason why I, you know, what I'm saying, end up dibbling, dabbling in the in and out the old, like playing, especially when I was a kid. 
You feel me? Then when she got older, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't listen. <laughs> I, I go over the, I, you know what I'm saying? We gonna do a little, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't. Giving ways, giving out shoes. Everybody just get back. It's a strong community out here. Yeah. Who are you guys' favorite rappers from O Block? What about you? What? Favorite rapper from O Block? Huh? Favorite rapper from O Block? Huh? Favorite, favorite rapper from, from O Block? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys want to say to people out there that are uh, curious about Oblock? What it's like growing up here, living here? Who might think it's a, va a bad or bad? Look like it, little brother look like somebody. Who look? Is that somebody, little brother? He look like he looked like somebody I went to school with or something. Uh, he look curious just about like Oblock. Somebody. What it's like growing up here, living here? Who I don't know. I just think it's a, va a bad or bad yeah. but it's actually fun down here. Huh? The good community. Yeah, they be trying to do everything they can do to keep us out the streets. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> what do you guys want to be when you grow up? Football player, NBA player, a rapper. So obviously I'm, I'm not affiliated in any way, but what is it like having your ops live so close by? They come in and get the shooting. They know we can really do about it. The ops our age, they they they, they some goofy. They scared. Like, they do not to come around her. Huh? Yeah, I feel like there's a transitional uh like phase in your young teens where you stop playing sports as much and then you start getting you know finding out to make money and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with playing basketball. We still play sports. Is there a lot of sports talent in the area? Yeah, like there's a lot of people that's raw at basketball. They just they just don't want to do it. You guys uh rap at all? Nah. Yeah, I, I rap. All right. You want to keep me bars? Benny Young, get back to back in juvenile. Parcel in my OG crib, I wasn't just a favorite child. I had a 40 on my if she wishing it was just a face. And my cousin get shot by that window, she was sell I was on some goofy shit back then, that was a different face. I'm up on my grind, can't waste no time, I'm to my paperweight. Yeah, what's some of the best parts of growing up O-Block for you? I ain't gonna hey, listen, y'all. If anybody that watched my, my video from Chicago, understand, you could do anything, shorty. It's, we in 2023, look, you on the internet, just be creative, shorty. I swear to God, you could do anything. You can get on the internet and tweak. You get on YouTube and just tweak on Twitch and just tweak on live. Same, nothing. I swear to God, just do it. I do it every day for a year. See what happens. You feel me? For real, for real. Do it every day for a year. It ain't going to hurt. 20, 40, an hour a day, two hours a day, summertime. Just do it and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And you'll see that little money start coming in. You'll be like, oh, shit. You feel me? You can sell clothes. You could goddamn Anything on bro, just think bigger. You know what I'm saying? If you want to dance, okay, I ain't gonna just dance and like you feel me. What I what I can do to dance and get and get rich from that shit though. You feel me? It's gonna take a long time. You gonna have to read, figure out, watch videos, study, research. But it it's possible, shorty, because I ain't. You feel me? If y'all just watch my vlog channel, I just I'm finna post it today. I I I made a million dollars in a month, bro. And I'm from the rack. Just you feel me? So. Ain't gonna lie, it's like, cause we were so young, we were so young seeing this shit, so it's like, we older now, so we getting advanced, so we advanced out the shit that we learned from when we was little. Seeing Vaughn blow up, that was like one of the best parts to me. Seeing him come back to the block and bring that 100k and break it down with the team, like, yeah, well, that wasn't the first 100k sure. either, that wasn't the only 100k. You had that blue jacket on? Yeah, bro. That video's hard. Post a real inspiration to the hood. A lot, a lot of folks don't rap because of Vaughn shit. Folks came think, back yeah. doing this shit. I wouldn't be rapping if it went for fuck. With that said, what are some of the negatives of growing up on O-Block, some of the, the bad parts of that? Really? Just, ain't no negative, because we decent everywhere. We decent all year round. Probably police negative. Yeah, that's, a, negative. that's a big negative right there, the police. The other than that, the internet, other like, than that shit, we just a circle, we won. Like, like, everything we move is one, so we straight around this bitch. That's a recurring theme, the internet and the police are the biggest problems with O-Block, people say. Sure. And that because, look, they be on the outside looking in, they don't really know how we... How we connect in on the bitch. inside, really looking on the inside, like motherfuckers don't know what's going on. Like the internet, they uh, just be trolling. But you see how y'all in here, y'all just chilling, y'all can walk around in our hood with us, like nothing happens. Girls Motherfuck over there chilling, you feel me? It ain't that bad, bro. You feel me? It ain't overly dirty. They're yeah, chilling. Motherfuckers always looking on the outside, thinking something gonna happen when it's really not that shit. This bitch like all stay. You in good hands when you with us. Oh shit, look at this. What is that? Three wheel thing? Oh yeah, that's, that's a little three wheel one, bro. That's, that's my that's, that's my my people shit. You guys whip that around? I ain't riding that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared of that shit. <laughs> what do you what do you see the future of O Block? Shit, this we gonna be bigger than what we is, shit. We already big, oh. so it's like this bitch gonna be we gonna... Shorty is funny as hell. I ain't scared. I ain't, I'm scared. I'm scared of that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't right that mother. <laughs> Boy, get y'all scared. Man. I'm scared of that. Scared. What? Yo, tweaking. Give me a motorcycle. I'm finna go buy some dirt bikes. Stay weak. No cap. Boy, it's getting hot in LA now, too. Boy, I'm finna be around this bitch. Tweaking. Falling off, busting my ass. All the time.
gonna be Can't tell me that, bro. Everybody rich, everybody getting money. Everybody bro, now. straight, they all they people straight, family straight, everybody. We bro, all bro. straight. The block, we decent, Make we living sure decent. Kids, kids, um, bro. Kids That's Make sure the kids straight, everything. Um, bro. That's how we trying to we, do. In some, we on some positive shit trying to bring in all and past the Brooks. No Pastor Brooks just raised enough money right across the street. He bought out a motel. You know what I'm saying? You know the motel going on in the hood. It's all type of crazy shit going on in the motel. You feel me? He bought that whole motel. Like he ended up getting it shut down, bought it out, tore it down. You feel me? And now he finna build a big old community art center for the hood. You know what I'm saying? The only one on in Chicago for real like that. We don't even got boys and girls clubs for real in Iraq no more. You know what I'm saying? He finna had a bit. He built. I think they just start building it now. You know what I'm saying? So, one Honda. Negativity. That's the shit we on. O block 64th and 65th, right? And then 63rd is like the ops. That's where like you guys don't 63rd. What's it like having the ops live so close by? That shit ain't nothing to me. No, that, shit, that shit not nothing. I'm like cool. that's fun though. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, if you know, you know that. Fun. <laughs> one block away. That funny as hell. Like as long as my fuck stay in their lane, I'm staying in my lane. Oh, they are hurting, bro, bro. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. My see the, like, I right, look, for instance, my riding past the block. They gonna look, they gonna see the buildings and look, they gonna be like, I ain't going in there, it's bad in that wood. But then when you come in this bitch, my how we connect and how we how we be all chilling and shit, my wanna hang. That's how it go. Anything else you guys wanna say to the fans out there? Just be cool, be smooth. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Shout out to the <laughs> Buckingham Show. Shout out to the Buckingham Show. Fuck! You know how we get. I enjoyed my time filming inside O Block. People were welcoming, they were very nice to us. But right as we were leaving, about 20 Police. bullets whizzed right by us, so close that we could actually taste it in the air. Just gunshots just went off, bro. Like a bunch of gunshots. Never for real? Right as we were leaving, about 20 bullets whizzed right by us, so close that we could actually taste it in the air. Just gunshots just went off, bro. Like a bunch of gunshots. Well, where, 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 where shorty from? Well, where, where, where you from, gang? He from, he, he say he from the country town. He from Illinois, though. Oh, man, that's scary. Holy shit, bro. Man, get out of here. Dude, that's the real go, police, bro. too. We just gotta go. He not playing. <sighs> they don't have it in that stuff. Patty. Damn, I can I tasted the lab. Like, it was weird. Let's go. But now that I got a look inside Oblock, I wanted to talk to someone who grew up there in the early 2010s. We sat down and talked to Ocho Mana, a longtime resident of the area that was now leaving to go to a new state. So you're from Oblock, right? Yeah, born and raised. For sure. I've been, uh, I moved in Oblock when I was Ocho like, Mana, yeah. in 2001, well, when I was five. Going on, that that's percent, cool. Type shit. I don't live that now. I moved out like probably when I was like, like 20. So I'm 24 now, so like a few years ago. What was it like growing up there? It was crazy shit. It was cool for the most part. Like when I was growing up and shit, it was all fun and games. You feel what I'm saying? We was badass kids throwing uh, rocks at cars and shit. Right. Um, we was just doing badass shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like shit changed instantly. Like you feel what I'm saying? It went from having fun to like being targets. See, it really happened so damn fast. You can't even do nothing but adapt to it. You feel what I'm saying? So it just went from throwing rocks to damn nothing. Now we gotta throw bullets. You feel what I'm saying? Like. Crazy. Before like the gun violence and shit, um, I mean, did that come into the picture when you guys were like 7th, 8th grade, like 12, 13, yeah, or a little like, older? Yeah, when I, everything, when I was in 7th, 8th grade, it was just all sports and shit, like, like, dancing, just having fun, <laughs> just doing like little, little kid shit, like, you yeah. know, whatever you do as a little kid. By the time I got to high school, that's when shit was really starting to get real, to the point where I was playing football, you know, me and L.A. Capone and shit, both playing football and shit. The window closed for us so fast because it's God. like we couldn't be focused on anything like school or sports because we got the streets. So say if I got to go to football practice and then I got to leave for football practice, but it's just like it's shit going Later on. Later now, you feel me? I ain't doing that. That's what I'm, bro. I ain't staying up goddamn at the school, especially in the wintertime. Most of the school year going to be in the wintertime. You feel me? It's getting late. It's, it's getting dark, four, five o'clock. You get that? What? Then yeah, Kenwood, we got out of school at 4, 4 15. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? I used to hate that shit. After at freshman year, it was 3 15. Every year after that was 4 15. I hated it, shorty. You come outside, it's dark. I'm talking about nighttime, shorty. What the fuck y'all trying to get up with? Then you know, you motherfucker go to football practice. Now you gotta get on a bus. Somebody got you tell you, most people gotta take the what the 15? You gotta take the 15 back to the crib at 6 o'clock. Who? Not this nigga here. I wanted to do the visa. I had to walk home. You feel me? 
No, y'all tweaking. Yeah. What is the problem? You feel me? That's no, nah, hell no. Nah. That's why nigga get the. I, you know what I'm saying? Most times I used to kick it around my crib, but other than that, I ain't man. Look, from so home. I got niggas that don't like me. That I just cause I'm from this. Just cause I'm, you know. Just cause I'm from over here. I don't even know what's going on, man. I'm trying to kick it. Where the thought he's at? You feel me? Just cause I kick it with phone them. Just cause I be over here with him. Just cause I be at his crib a lot. You feel me? Now I'm, man, I am just trying to. Come on, G. I'm just all I was trying. I'm, you feel me? When I grew up in this area, you feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, you really sucked into that. We never Hold signed on. the paper and said, like, all right, no, I'm going to be O Block or shit. Oh, like, you know, this was, we was here before this was O Block. You feel what I'm saying? We just a product of our environment type. So, you know. So you feel like you don't even have a yeah, choice. He explained that. He explained that. The same way I saying what saying what I be saying. In the area, you pretty much oh, ain't none of us have a choice for real. Like you know, this just what it was. It was the cars we was dealt. You know what I'm saying? Cause think about it, you could just be a shorty that just play football and live in Parkway. You know what I'm saying? But if your friends is people from the neighborhood and some motherfuckers trying to shoot at your homies, they shooting at you too. You know what I'm saying? Just cause you live there, you out there with them, they ain't gonna say, all right, he a football player. Let's try to shoot at everybody around the football player. Nah, no, they shooting at everybody. So it's just like you really. Guilty by association, shit. If these are your homies, you with that. Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to, ain't nobody trying to figure out. Not, you know, you is what you is. Type. It's like we ain't had no choice. You just don't have a choice. And if and somebody said they had a choice, it, it, what would people be? It would be people that's really not from that. Right. Who would just want to be something and just start hanging around and be like, I'm this. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but before yeah. it was popular to be from that or be O Block. You feel what I'm saying? It was right. like. It just was what it was, you feel what I'm saying? We just who we is. It's a cycle, right? Just revenge killing after revenge killing. Yeah. You young, you don't understand that yet. You feel me? You don't know what a generational cycle, I mean, generational curse cycle. You don't know nothing about that shit. You just thinking like, man, these niggas just killed my homie. You feel what I'm saying? My mama, she used to be calling me every time she heard a, a, any type of siren. I'm outside, she had <laughs> ambulance, police, she called me, calling me, calling me to make sure I'm good, cause Tell it's you. like, it's that real. My yeah, my really mama, getting, my mama started know? working at the school, uh, in like in like the schools when I got like old in high school. Anytime something happened, boy, my mama used to, my mama used to call me quick. Like, she don't care where it happened in the city. He talking about hear sirens. My mama hit something on the news happened on 75th and goddamn Stewart. I ain't never been over there a day of my life. I don't be over there, mama. What the hell you call? <laughs> oh, I'm just making sure you weren't over there. <laughs> no cap though. Oh, for them. No, for real though. And then like, cause she used to hear about a lot of stuff and like what be going on because she was working in the schools. Like, you know, she used to like run not the school system, but she used to work for Airmark. So like they used to run like function in the school so she used to manage a whole bunch of schools she used to like run a whole bunch so like when even one time somebody's blinking at my mama she my mama run outside grabbed the little boy she say she you know what i'm saying about my age at the time grabbed the little boy saved his life he got hit up stopped the bleed they still blinking at my mama like you know what i'm saying real this life for real you know what i'm saying you know really getting shot, my really getting hit up at a young age that age didn't mean shit. i seen one of my homies get killed one of my big homies first dead body at 13. I was 13 years old. I walked like right there. My homie got killed. I was just right there. I ain't had no choice but to yeah. look at that. Yeah, you know? yeah, you had to see I it. I should have up, boy. How do you bro. process that? You don't. <laughs> it's just something that just goes over and over in your head. But it's just like if my homies weren't getting killed back then, I wouldn't have never knew it was real. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, we would have just been like, man, this shit sweet. Well, everybody, we owe everything. But my, when my Damn close to you, like man, what the fuck? Hold on, you gotta sit oh, back and look in the mirror, like oh, sh this shit real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, I'm watching all my homies, OGs crash. This shit ain't, this shit ain't, this shit ain't no yeah. game now. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit real. Don't nobody wanna die, and I, I'm mad. A lot of, that. I wish a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened, but it happened. You know, I can't take it back. You feel me? We can't rewind. You just gotta keep going forward. Yeah, do you feel like there, there's gonna, something that could be done to end like the cyclical nature of the violence, or is it's just one of those things that's not gonna stop till people are gone. And you know, I always had hope. At the end of the day, everybody got their own mind. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I can have my group of people, and I can, I can show people from my hood this way. You feel what I'm saying? But I can't make nobody do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? I can just show y'all that we can do it this way instead of that way. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all best better leave that shit alone, cause that shit ain't worth it, bro. It's been times ops been pull up on me, and I'm with my grandma. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm with my grandma. My grandma don't know. Shit. About shit. I ain't gonna you know, lie, that's not that's not funny, but it's like no, nah, for like how he said it, like hearing that out loud is hilarious. 
But like, nah, for real though. What you with your grandma? You like you looking at their ass probably like, bro, come on, man, come on, man, leave me the hell alone. I'm with my grandma. But you feel in Chicago, it ain't no cold. They ain't gonna spare you like it ain't really like too many niggas that spare you. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody trying to be the most savage in the rack. So he, oh, can nothing about you being with your grandma. Now I do that to you. And he ain't. Yeah, he he's not playing. <laughs> You know, a lot of niggas be like, boy, I'll do that to you right He's for real. I'm saying that that's how real this shit can get. Don't nobody get no shit. You know, mother pull tweet. up on you with your grandma and your mama. You just better hope you can make it out that situation. Oh you feel what I'm saying? Because your grandma don't know shit and she ain't doing nothing. Oh, your mama don't, don't know nothing. Mama don't and know she ain't doing nothing. It's off your decision. So don't bring, you know, nobody that you love down with you off your decision. Especially if you ain't got to make none of them decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. The extended cut, as always, <laughs> is on Patreon. And I hope it gave you a better understanding of what life is like in O-Block. So you do rap a bit? Yeah, a little bit. You got any bars you want to kick? I can freestyle for you. Yeah, please tell some shit. We sent that boy and made her on. Seven, six, two pairs long. Where I'm from, no, it ain't safe. And where I'm from, we keep it going. Slam a nigga like I'm shy. She dunking shit like I'm LeBron. And this okay. bitch nigga gets naked to get in. And I ain't done. Come on, we got to walk out. We Walking off with the camera. Look, look they, they tweaking already. See what I'm saying? They already tweaking. I'm GDK. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he is fun. Who is that? God damn it. Who is that? See, but folk, more than anything, Oblock got some funny ass people, bro. These niggas, I don't know what's going on. They funny as hell, though. Like, you gonna laugh. I swear to God. That's what you gonna laugh your ass off, shorty. On Bro Grave. Just pulling up and buy some. You trying to cop some loud on bro. You pull up, you going to laugh. He don't even got to know you. You going to laugh at somebody. Put shorty on camera. Already, see what I'm saying? They already took it. I'm Look GDK. At. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody, we big drop rates in every state. G's, <laughs> And I'm coming in my face. I don't want to talk. You see what I'm saying? Hey, I go and shoot. block elevator right here. We have a breakdown. This thing is slow as hell. Yeah, yeah, this bitch always broke. I ain't getting that bitch of prices. They not know you. I ain't listen. I'm taking the S T A I R S. I hope I spelled it right because I'm high. Hey, get your bitch ass on my face. See what I'm saying? This phone number, but he a bitch. See what I'm saying? He a bitch. Just like him, my dad, Ike. He really a bitch. All these <laughs> bitches. <laughs> he is a bug on Funnel Grass. <laughs>